can see. Come on. Check out the mouth. Welcome to the mouth question. Vicky and I have decided to add another segment called Band Dita. This is where we're going to explore some of the obscure band of the 80s and 90s that should have been bigger in America, but for whatever reason they were. So, without any further ado, I'd like to present to you Band Dita. This episode is about a band that my friend Boz and myself love, a band called Who You. And I think a lot of people might not, you know, young kids or whatever, they might not even have a clue who Who You is that. Most now, people don't. Let me ask you, my friend Boz, how did you get in, how did you hear about the Who Do You? God, how Marty, did they influence you? Probably Marty. Yes. Probably. Me too. Maybe there was a time period there when he was introduced to me to a lot of bands. Mm -hmm. Me too. My yeah. thing was, it was funny because, I mean, it was so Martin long. Russell. Martin Russell Schreier. Junior. <laughs> He's a junior. I believe he is. I did not know I'm that. Pretty sure. Jesus. I've learned so much about my Martin friend. Russell Schreier <laughs> Junior. I did not but know that. But don't ever call him Junior. Oh, I'm gonna call him Junior. I'll never know. I'll go. Junior. Hey, hey, Marty, if you're watching this, hey, Junior, if you're watching this, the only Junior that I knew that people called Junior. Is Bro, that one, yeah, exactly. Oh, so. I don't want to yeah. get it's uh -huh. How do you get that name? Oh, oh, there's a story behind that one. Listen to the stick to the Hoodoo Gurus. Okay. All right. So here's my thing with the Hoodoo Gurus. <laughs> I remember. Me and Marty and it might have been Scott Kostowski or somebody. And there were three of us and we went we went to the mall. Some mall. I, I'm, I'm not virtually. No. It didn't I think exist it was back like, in that day. I think it was like, had to be like that, that, that was the big and, trip. Get in the car, we let's go down there, walk our ass right, off, right, and, and, right. <laughs> and somehow I remember standing where like Sears or something there, like one of the stores that was like the end caps or whatever and marty came walking up because like he left and he was gone for a while and then we met up and marty had this record in his hand and it was the hoodoo gurus mars needs guitars that's classic and he showed it to me and i'm like i'm like never heard of them <laughs> you know he's like oh they're great and i'm like because like you said marty was turning every all of us on the all kinds of great yeah he, he is he yeah he had several although he did have some bum ones too like <laughs> oh, xpc just in five what's wrong with xpc oh my god <laughs> fucking suck ass <laughs> i didn't like the professional either but not, but, okay cut and marty showed me the record you know he bought the record and he was real excited about it and he showed me, the, you know, he's got this record. I mean, back in records, and maybe kids these days don't even know what a fucking record is, you know? Never heard of him. But the thing with Marty was, it, it's always like, if he turned me on to something, nine times, or nine times out of ten, I'd like it, you know? There might be that one time out of ten. Yeah, like, like XTC. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, let's kind of go on XTC. Yeah. 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 We can do a whole office of people on that but anyway, Boone and Grooves, man, Marty turned me on to that record, and we left the mall, and we went back to his house, I think, and put it on his turntable, and fuck. Yeah, so did he and know I, it, or was he taking a risk? No, he knew it. Yeah, I saw he was going there to get, mm -hmm. it wasn't like a, oh. <laughs> no, no, and and it was cool because, like, I remember we put it on, and it was like that. Those first, like that, dun, 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 dun. you know. I, I mean, I can't play it, but what's my name? What's oh, my... that's an older. That's an it, it's so. It's the first track off of the Mars Knees guitar. Well, well, we're obviously going to have to be like that song was. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And was the any like Wild like, Halo from? No, that was on what? Uh, Blow your cool. Because yeah. we did that in a band. Yeah. We yeah. did that in the blanks. Yeah. You know? I, I love that. that. Oh, I love that. That was so, it was so fun to play on the drums. Oh, yeah. Because it's got a da 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 You know, it was what? Kind of a rip off of Wipeout? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's called yeah. like, wow, yeah. Wipeout. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's they like, say, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Booty gurus. Booty gurus. All right, yeah. More, 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 more memories. Um, the memory I have of the Hoodoo Guru is this one. You and I played in the Blanks, the band called the Blanks. Yeah, that was um, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Jeff was there and Aaron. Aaron, and, yeah. And, yeah. You know, we did a bunch of cover songs. Yeah. And 80s, kind of a yeah, alternative you know, 80s kind of vibe. And I think we did a couple originals. They probably just yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember those. Yeah. And, you know, I think Jeff Bissinger was a great songwriter. And great yeah, sleeping with my eyes half Oh, yeah, it was a really, really good Yeah, song. what was his motorbike song? Taking a ride on the motorbike. Oh, we did that in the Hellbillies. Oh, that in the Hellbillies? Yeah. Oh, fuck, that was a really good one. Yeah, we were I got surprised my memory was that good. You were, the, you were the original drummer in the Hellbillies. Yeah. The OG Movo. And it was you and me and Brian Burnham and, and Jeff Bissing. And, and Tim had the motorbike. We got some Jack Daniels on the paper sack or whatever it was, you know. Yeah. And it was just like a, you kind of live a. Yeah, and didn't you have a Saturday, Saturday Night Special song too or something like that? Caster? Oh, Friday Night Friday Night Caster. Yeah. That was the best song. No, here's the thing. Uh, one of the memories uh, I have of the Hoodoo Gurus, and it's crazy. But that time I went up to the Michigan Tech in the Winter, winter Carnival in February. Yeah, when you came out to see my dumbass. Yeah, there. yeah. In my white truck in uh -huh. the middle of winter, uh -huh. snowstorms and whiteouts. Uh -huh. I'm like, mm, this wasn't a good choice of color of vehicle, was it? <laughs> but um, that whole trip up there, I was jamming. It was all who the all who the serious. Yeah, I listened to like literally. To the Tojo stuff, you know, like right. early Stone Age Romeos. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you might have something even earlier. But yeah, yeah. so I listened to that that whole collection. So that, that whole trip up, up was a whole Hoodoo Goose trip. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. I never knew that. Which is what struck me odd coming back hearing the Hoodoo Goose on the Traverse City Station. It's like, I did not know that you listened to the Hoodoo Gurus that whole time you were driving. I would drive up, yeah. Like, I yeah. listened to their whole catalog on your cassette. And then, in 1980. You know what the finale of that was. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, my whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my other Hoodoo Guru memory I would associate um, would be with Marty down at the, um, the Ann Arbor State Theater, I think. Okay. There's, a, there's video of us there really? on YouTube, I believe. Mark, Mark, you showed me the link. Can pull yeah. it up? I, he said it was like in my email like five years ago, so mm -hmm. I can't just whip, whip it out. Um, <laughs> 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 um, and would I remember that at that place too? Other than we walked in and they were playing some really crazy house music. It was like low, trippy ass and shit. From what I remember. But the other thing I remember is to go to the bathroom at that place, you had to go downstairs, and it was like the longest, almost steepest flight of stairs you ever had to go down into a bathroom. And I'm like, this is not good for drug people. I like, how much fucking, how many people can turn on this shit? We just try to go pee. That's so, why you should have become a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they probably got a house lawyer there. So you fucking ass. It's like, wow, that was not a good design, was it? <laughs> Send drunk people down a hundred flights of stairs. But <laughs> was um, with Bill when we lived on Poplar there in okay. Florida. In Florida? Was it Florida? No, off of Florida it was Poplar. Okay. Poplar Street, but it was just off of Florida. Okay. And um, yeah, him and I jammed out to that the uh, Magna Cum Louder album. Uh, like, gosh, that whole summer I remember that that Axe Grinder song. Right, and that there is wasn't it the baseball song is off of that. Hey, you're bringing up shit I don't even fucking know. Don't put me in cuffs. That's right. That's John Fogerty. Yeah, John Fogerty. Oh god, I'll have to put a link up to the that one. That's a good song. All right. Yeah, that had that album. That 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 one and I think um, Marzi at the Tower is maybe my two favorite Hoodoo Gurus albums. When Bill and I were renting that house up up there in Poplar, we jammed out to that cassette. I swear, because that's what you had back in 1991. Okay, so it might have been a CD. Probably was a CD. Yeah. But, yeah, we jammed out to that. Cool. So we can probably put that one in the books. 